Hey there everyone. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about my new app, tentatively called a custom video player. I'm just going to sort of walk through the features and this will also serve as the documentation for the beta version. So we'll go ahead and start it up. So here's the splash screen. You can choose to skip this, which you'll see in a second. And here's the main menu. We've got, uh, you know, the change log here. Ambisonic audio is not working right now, but this is just the beta version. Click OK. Here we have some files that I've preloaded just in a just in a directory called custom video in the root directory of my Oculus Go, which is the device I'm using right now. Um, so I've got a controller and a laser pointer and I can select one of the videos. And over here we've got the app settings and these are the sort of settings for every video. I'm going to turn author mode on and we get this um, pop-up that says that the back button will always bring me back to this menu in author mode. Now you can choose to skip the splash screen and autoplay, which means that when you launch the app, it will automatically play whichever video we select right now. Chromatic aberration correction. I might turn this off on Oculus Go actually because I think there was an update a few days ago and it looks like chromatic aberration correction is constantly on now. On Gear VR this does do something so I'll leave that on the Gear VR version. But right now it doesn't seem to be doing much on Oculus Go. And then down here we've got eye texture resolution multiplier. So you can do two times the eye texture resolution which makes everything look very nice and crisp but it really cuts back on playback. And so uh, on Oculus Go, I think you can probably use about 1.4, 1.5, maybe 1.3. I'm going to put it all the way down to 1.0 right now because I'm recording, but um, that is an option. So we'll go ahead and just select um, one of the first videos here. I'll just select zero menu.mp4. And you can see this is a mono 360 video. And I'll just click the trigger and bring up the menu here. Uh, the, down here is the video menu. This is what you know, um, you can seek and play, skip to the next video, skip to the last video. And up here is the author menu. And the author menu lets you do other things. So you can select video mode. We have Mono 360, Stereo 360, VR 180, and Sixth Off. Um, you can see that if I select Stereo 360, this does not look correct anymore. So put it back in Mono. The audio mode right now, Stereo is working, Ambisonic is not working currently. Here 360 is working. But I'll need to add some documentation on that because you actually need to have separate WAV files. Um, so that's a whole other thing, but that is a possibility. Um, you have the back button functionality. So you can allow your user to either restart the video, skip to the next video by hitting the back button, go back to the very first video in your playlist um, using the back button, or ignore the back button completely. So uh, you can use this as a sort of a kiosk mode or however you want to be able to use it. You can select your next video. So right now, if we went to the next video, it would repeat this video. But if you put this at the end of a playlist and had it go back to the first video, you could have it sort of loop your whole playlist forever. Um, we can select one of our other video clips, or we can have it go back to the main menu if you want your user to go back to the main menu. Here we have a loop option. So I'll turn loop on and start playing. We'll skip to the end here. And you can see that it goes back to the beginning. Um, if I click next, it will go to the next video, which is the first video right now, which is this video. So um, I'll select being Henry. Um, recenter on start means that... Um, so if recenter on start is on on the next video, and I'm looking over here, when the video starts, the center of the video will be over here. If recenter start is off, then the center would be over here where the center of this video is. So you can choose whether or not you want to recenter videos or not. Um, and you can also allow your user to ha have these video controls or not. So right now the user would be able to seek and go back into the next video. If I turn this off, they would be sort of locked down in kiosk mode. And if you turn the back button off, then they really can't do anything except for watch the video. So those are sort of all the options. Um, I'll go ahead and show the video controls for this one. We'll have the back button skip to the next video. Our next video is going to be Being Henry, and we won't have this loop. We'll skip to Being Henry, and you can see all the menu options change. This is a Stereo 360 video, so we'll go ahead and choose Stereo 360. Now it looks right. And we'll have the back button in this one um, restart the video. And then our next video, we'll choose this Six Stuff video, and we will have this reset around Start. Should we? Yeah, let's do that. So next video. You can see this is a sixth off video. The color is on top and the depth map is on bottom. So we'll go ahead and choose sixth off. And now it looks in proper and in stereo and everything. I'll go ahead and pause that. 
Let's have this one loop. We'll hide the video controls and the back button will go back to the first video. And next won't matter because we'll never get to it. But uh, just to show you the VR180 works. Actually, yeah, let's have, let's show the video controls so we can go to the next video. So this is a VR180 video. So I'll choose VR180. And um, we will, re we, let's, let's recenter it. So if we go back, let's recenter now. And um, let's hide the video controls and we'll have the back button ignore. So this will be completely locked out. So let's go back to the menu screen. We'll turn author mode off. And then we'll go ahead and play the first video that we wanted to play. We can even turn autoplay on. And when we turn autoplay on, it lets us know that in order to get this menu screen back, if let's say you have back button turned off and you have no return to the menu, there's no way to get back to this menu, you just start up the app again and hold down the trigger and thumb pad buttons and uh, you'll get back to the screen. Sort of a hidden key press combo. So we'll go ahead and start the video. And you can see I can bring up the video controls. I can pause and, and skip. But no, uh, no author options anymore. So if I skip the next video now. So we go to the next video. Um, let's hit the back button here. And that went back to the first video. Let's go to being Henry Clip and hit the back button. I think this one skips to the next video. Oh, it starts this video again. Let's go back to the first video and hit the back button. That skips the next video. And let's skip to the sixth off video, back button, goes back to the first video. So you can make a sort of a uh, you know complex kind of um, playlist. And let's get to the VR 180. And now the back button does nothing, and I have no controls. Okay, well that sort of does it. Please subscribe if you're into this kind of thing, and leave a comment below if you have any feature requests, or if you'd like to beta test the app, please let me know. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.